guess what, boy? Yes. There are some people here in the audience from Iceland. <laughs> They say they're from Iceland, but they look just like regular Americans to me. <laughs> Let's check out using your special powers of guessing where people are from. <laughs> That's funny to you, is it? <laughs> I can hear you laughing inside your own head. <laughs> are you... <laughs> Listen, can you hear? No, no, he stopped. All right. All right. Tell me if they're Icelandic. Go. Icelanders, if that is where you are from, when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and your town in Iceland. So I am starter. Yes, from? Re Reykjavik, Iceland. Reykjavik? Yeah. First step, I could read it. Helen Oskarnsdottir, Kobor. Thank you. <laughs> Look, I know this seems a little frightening. But in America, this happens all the time. <laughs> Are you guys on vacation here? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Are you in a band? No. 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 <laughs> you look like you might be in a band. Are you all related? Yeah. Oh. Everyone in Iceland related to everyone else? <laughs> a little bit, sort of, kind of, yeah. N not really, no. Uh, so uh, you're on vacation in uh, California? Yes. Yeah. Not very many volcanoes in California, are there? <laughs> Disappointing lack of... There's some. <laughs> what do you guys do in Iceland, then? Uh, I work at a kindergarten school. A kindergarten school? Yeah. For little Icelandic yeah. children? <laughs> Lovely. What do you do, sir? Uh, music school. Music school? Yeah. So you are a musician? Yeah. I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! My, my favorite band of the moment, my favorite, favorite band of the moment are from Iceland, right. of Monsters and Men. Do you know this band? Yeah. Yeah. Aren't they a great band? Awesome. <laughs> See? I know about Iceland, Reykjavik. Oh, there have been 400 polar bear sightings in Iceland, even although polar bears are not native of Iceland. Did you know this? No. no. <laughs> Well, polar bears are pretty scary, so I'd keep an eye out for them. <laughs> but they're all in the north, and you guys are from the south, right? <laughs> I think I've figured out where our show needs to go next. <laughs> Good news, everybody. We're sending you to an American restaurant. What's it called, Michael? Café Le Bohème. It's French, but, they're, but they, pay, they pay their taxes here. Uh, it's a great restaurant. We'll send you there for free. And anything you don't eat, you can take back to Iceland. Awesome. I know this feels kind of awkward, but I'm really enjoying myself. Our Icelandic friends, everybody. Sponsored by Direct TV. Don't just watch TV, Direct TV. Call 1 800 Direct TV. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
Thanks, that's enough. Quietly, it's great, yeah. Quietly now, quietly everybody. Let it go. All right, all right, all right, all right. You have, you have succeeded. I wasn't gonna do the show, but I've changed my mind. Yeah. The audience are so believable, I've changed my mind. I drilled on myself a little bit there. <laughs> Did you see it? Did you see it on TV? You saw a little bit of drill? That, I've been doing this job so long, I'm so old, I'm going like, hey, drool. Here's the group. Oh, cheeky monkeys. <laughs> Here comes Craig. Here comes Craig. <laughs> oh, yeah, you at home don't get to hear that. The warm-up comedian, uh, he's not really a comedian, but the... Uh, <laughs> This is the guy that talks and stuff. But the, uh, what do they call them again, guys that talk and stuff? <laughs> Comedians. Comedians? <laughs> anyway, uh, he says, before I come out, he goes, here comes Craig! And he gets the audience all fired up, and, and then I come out, and they're all like, oh. <laughs> That's it? That's it? That's it. And then I drilled on myself yeah. when I came out. Sometimes I pee myself when I'm doing the monologue. <laughs> That's why I stand so close to the camera. People say, Craig, why do you stand so close to the camera? I'm like, well, I have to go to the bathroom sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, the people that have been in a male toilet in the airport. <laughs> Where are you in from? <laughs> Burbank. <laughs> It's a great day for America, everybody. Yeah. Continues to be... Continues to be a great day for the world. Today we got our first look at the royal baby. Hooray! Kate and William. Yes, they made a, a little appearance. Appearance with well, that little guy has only the, the, the tiniest tuft of hair on his head. And the baby's got some hair too, so it's lovely. <laughs> See what I did? Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. I was the guy saying things there. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. good. Good. The crowd outside the hospital was very respectful. They were very quiet. You could actually hear the baby go, Sylvan, fetch me some milk from my mother's pool. <laughs> oh, I will be king, father. <laughs> How do you feel, old man? I got a close look at the baby. I saw a lightning bolt a scar on his forehead. <laughs> and the baby's adorable. Some people say he just looks like his father. I think he looks like his grandfather, Prince Charles. Have we got a picture of the royal baby? There you are. <laughs> Thank God, we didn't even try. We didn't even try there, yeah, did we? Yeah, let's stick a picture on. Here come Craig. <laughs> 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 It's not a great day uh, for New York today, though. Uh, the mayoral candidate, Anthony Weiner, you know, the guy who resigned from Congress for showing his wiener. Uh, <laughs> I know, he did. Uh, uh, today, more wiener photographs were released of his wiener. Uh, <laughs> New Yorkers were shocked. They were absolutely shocked. How, how shocked were they? they? They were so shocked that uh, Elliot Spitzer fell off his hooker. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, right, yeah. you got one? Yeah, yeah. All right, then. All yeah, right. they were, uh, people were... People in New York, New Yorkers were so shocked. How shocked were they, Jeff? Uh, people almost stopped urinating in public. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> New Yorkers were so shocked, that thing on Trump's head fainted. <laughs> they, they were so shocked, Woody Allen had to pull his daughter wife out of school. Oh, man. Man, really? What the hell, man? All right. Oh, you... <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's enough, I think. <laughs> the new photos are, are from the same time period as the old photograph, so it seems to me it's kind of like beating a dead horse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, spanking a dead monkey. How's that? <laughs> anyway, new details have emerged, though. Apparently, Anthony Weiner would show his junk on the internet using the name, and I'm not kidding, Carlos Danger. <laughs> Oh. Isn't that great? That's an awesome name. Coincidentally, that's also the name I have in the office royal baby name pool, Carlos Danger. Yeah, yeah. King Carlos Danger the first. <laughs> How do you feel, father? <laughs> I am Carlos. <laughs> you probably are puzzled by my accent. <laughs> I am not always a royal baby, but when I am. 
<laughs> Stay royal, my friends. <laughs> hey, uh, oh, Anthony Weiner. Yeah, Anthony Weiner released a statement today saying, this behavior is behind me. Then he added, if you want to see more of what's behind me, I'll text you a photograph. <laughs> But the race for the mayor goes, Anthony Weiner still has a small lead over city council member uh, Christine Quinn, who is gay. It's a classic matchup, lesbian versus predator. <laughs> good, good, good move. I like that. You know what I did? See what I did? Yeah, yeah. Lesbian predator. Yeah, you yeah. Put, the, put the two together. It's good. <laughs> I know why there's more Anthony Weiner pictures today, because it actually happens to be National Hot Dog Day today. It really, it does. I yeah, know, it's a real day. I know, people are like, no, that's not a real day. You made that up for TV reasons. No, it's a real day. You know how you, you, know how you can prove it? Because we've got a graphic for it. Right, right. It is a real day, though. We've got the graphic for Hot Dog Day. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Really? Really? If you're going to applaud that graphic, the rest of the show is going to blow your mind. <laughs> Wait till you see Avatar. You'll crap your pants. <laughs> uh, people think of hot dog as, a, as an American food. It's actually German. As far as back as the 13th century, pork sausages wrapped in bread were very popular in Frankfurt, Germany. Hence the name Frankfurters. And in the town of Hamburg, Ger uh, you know, in Germany, they were eating beef patties on bread. Hence the name Hamburgers. And in the town of Wankum, Germany. <laughs> that's, a, that's a real town. Wankum in Northwest Germany. Have you ever been there? Oh, I've been there many times. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the people of uh, Vienna, Austria, also claim to have invented the hot dog. They say that a butcher from Germany came to Vienna and copied their idea. They were like, that German man thinks he invented the hot dog. He is one sauerkraut. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> you see what I did here? <laughs> this, is, this is the joke I'm doing. <laughs> Is that, that's an Austrian comedian. Yeah, that's right, I'm doing yeah. an Austrian comedian. Yeah. Do you want to laugh? Begin! <laughs> <laughs> Craig, this is a national stereotype. Is it? <laughs> I have been to Vienna, Austria. I have. You have? Yeah, yeah, Vienna, Austria is the, the place. I was in there, I was staying in a hotel, and when you turn the TV on, they have hardcore porn, just like regular TV. <laughs> so he goes, you know, it goes, Larry King. And, oh, Larry King's on the show tonight. Yeah. Maybe he'll do some hardcore porn for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think that warm round of applause from the audience says, yes, we'd like to yeah, see that. They certainly would. Yes, we'd like to see Larry King do some hardcore porn on CBS. Well, I don't think that's going to happen. But if it does, it'll, bo it'll be on this show. If oh, it does, it will. Happen. It will. No, in Vienna, Austria, they have the porn. You just turn the TV on, and the porn's right there. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's like you go Larry King, cartoon, you know, Scooby Doo, uh, the news. Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I was trying to, with my face there, recreate hardcore porn. <laughs> it's pretty hard. Could you do it, Jeff, with your face? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could you do hardcore porn with your face? Okay, go. <laughs> That's actually the best one. <laughs> All right, enjoy your hardcore porn. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Atlantic friends, um, Darth Vader. Darth Vader doesn't live in Iceland, or does he? That was awesome. That was pretty good, actually, wasn't it? It was like they were paying attention to what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. I hope that never happens. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. What time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who can reenact Austrian porn using only his face. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Play a jingle, would you? Hey, Jeff, you want to get tweeted with me tonight? Well, all right. Hell to the metal we're getting there soon. Drag me out of bed and gag me with a spoon. I need your love, I can't relax. Without your touch, I'm groaning to the max. So hit that with your tweet, man. There you go. from Colin in Aberdeen, Scotland. Aberdeen, Aberdeen, Scotland? Whoa. That's on, that's the gateway to Iceland. <laughs> is, that, is that right? Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm jazzed about Iceland. I want to take the show to Iceland. We should go. I'm, I'm telling you, I want to do it. I want to go to Iceland. I'm going to, I want to go to Iceland. I want to meet that band of monsters and men. And I want to meet Bjork and I want to have some kach. <laughs> You, you want to have some what? I, I don't know. Whatever they eat. I want to eat it, yeah. I do. I want to go there. It's always it's a mysterious land of volcanoes and beautiful people. <laughs> well, it is in my mind anyway, and I want to go. Yeah. They got that big volcano, the... Uh, the Rijinu. Yeah, that Egypt, one. Egypt, Egypt, yeah. Anyway, Colin in Aberdeen, Scotland says, Dear Craig and Jeff, have you ever witnessed a crime? <laughs> Did you see the monologue? The, uh... <laughs> This is uh, from Travis in Alaska. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, <laughs> this is from Constance in Cranston, Rhode Island. Hi, Craig and Jeff. Do you have any big regrets? Did you see the monologue? Uh, <laughs> this is from Michelle in Washington, D.C. Dear Craig, I read a review online today of your stand-up comedy DVD. Can you send me an autographed copy, please? <laughs> what, this? Yes, I'll sign you an autographed copy. I'm going to write it right on here, on this part. There you are. <laughs> to Michelle. There you are. That's not technically it. Wow, these pens are awesome. Do you ever sniff these pens? Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow, you got one whiff of these things, you think you're in Iceland. <laughs> yeah, the, the DVD and CD came out today. <laughs> Everybody. You were there when we did it, remember? Oh, yeah. That, that was, was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah we did it in D.C. <laughs> That's what you call Washington if you're cool. D.C. I don't have time to say Washington. Just D.C. D.C. Yeah. It's the uh, gateway to... Gateway to Iceland, yeah. You can, get, you can get a direct flight from Washington to Reykjavik. Reykjavik. It's pronounced... Reykjavik. I'm telling you, this show is going to Iceland. Can, we're, uh, we're, we're going to do it. I'm going to do it. Can, can we afford to do that? I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe. Uh, well, look, we might not send you to that French restaurant then. <laughs> Fancy a quiet moment, everybody? Oh, yeah, yeah. Quiet moment or sexy quiet moment? What do you think? Oh, I think a sexy quiet moment. Sexy quiet moment? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Make sure they go home, okay? <laughs> My first guest tonight is one of the greatest broadcasters in the world. The Icelandic people worship him as a god. <laughs> His show, Larry King, now is on Hulu and Aura TV. Take a look at this. What's up, Larry? What's up, Craig? Hey, Larry, you look great, man. You, I'm so excited you're here for my big Icelandic show. I've... 
You know, I've never been in Iceland, but I've landed at the airport. Well, you've been there then, haven't you? Well, it was, uh, I spoke in Moscow. Right. And I flew there on a private plane. Whoa, swanky. With, with the wife. <laughs> yeah, with the wife and uh, my friend Stan Barty. And then I spoke in Kazakhstan. I got an honor. That's the big gig oh. everybody wants to get right now. <laughs> I got Kazakhstan Chuckle Club? Okay. Everybody's going nuts for it. Like, what's up, Kazakhstan? Ooh, ooh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was a. Uh, I want to compliment you on the interview with the Icelandic. You really drew them out. Well, yeah. come on, uh, man. <laughs> uh, hey, they're from the north. You know, it's I, cold there. I flew back know. from Kazakhstan. I got an honorary degree in Kazakhstan. Really? Yeah. Then I, we, so we landed, and when you hit Iceland at sunrise. Yo, it's beautiful, I bet. Gorgeous. Had to wake up the wife. Yeah? And gorgeous. <laughs> we landed in. The sun's coming up. It's flat. Yeah, yeah. It's ice. It's, it's ice. ice. Well, it's not, though. That's the thing. Iceland is not ice. It's, uh, it has ice. It's got some ice. Yeah, it's got ice. <laughs> it's on planet Earth. It's got, you can get ice. You go to a refrigerator, open the door. It's not like, surprise, really? no ice. Iceland. <laughs> How ironic. <laughs> 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 it's good to I, see you, man. This show is my intellectual growth. Yeah, come on, man. Well, it's good seeing you. I love the. I, do I have the record for guesting on this? Show? I think you're what you're up there. You're yeah. one of the. Yeah, I, I, I know. I've got 17 cups. 17. Out, when you guest on this show, you get a late show cup. Yeah, you get a cup. Yeah, you don't get any money, but you get a cup. Got, yeah, I got an array of cups at the. House. I've got about 1,700 cups as well. They pay me in cups. <laughs> I'm when trying to build a cup boat to get me to Iceland. That's what I want to do. You're harping on these Iceland. Papers. I don't know. I've got some bug in my ass about Iceland. I want to go. You know who lived? You know who lived there? Like Bobby Fischer. Really, the chess champion? Who went crazy? Wound up last, I think, 15, 20 years of his life living in Iceland. Playing chess. See, I that's how I want to do it. I don't because if I don't go there, I'm going to end up, you know, doing, you know, car showroom you stuff in Orange show County. In Iceland? I got an idea. What? I got an idea. Okay. Okay. Why don't we go to Iceland together? What, like, like, like a road movie? Bing and Bob? Something yeah, like that? No, no, not a... And do an Icelandic special. Yeah, all right. Okay, like a special in Iceland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could go out and interview Icelandic people. No, you go look for the polar bear. <laughs> now, there's no polar bears in Iceland. You, understand you told me that. But they sometimes drift over on from the where? icebergs. From the North Pole, Santa's house. Great... They, they drift over from <laughs> Santa's house and land in Iceland. And then ah! I I get a great polar bear joke. You get a polar bear joke? Yes, a joke that cracked up Frank Sinatra. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. It's a new joke, no, man, no, is it? No, no. <laughs> Don't make Come on, come on, hey, come on. Hey. Hold it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Frank, he made fun of you. Okay. <laughs> All right, never mind. No. This polar I didn't make fun of him, I just mentioned this. This polar bear. <laughs> this polar bear goes over to his mother and says. Am Frank Sinatra's a... mother? Oh. <laughs> Don't kill it. <laughs> Don't, man. All right, polar bear goes over to his mother and he says, says, am I a polar bear? And she says, of course you're a polar bear. I'm a polar bear, your father's a polar bear, everyone here's a polar bear. Don't bug me. Now, these polar bears, they're Jewish, I now, take it, right? Yeah. <laughs> next day, he comes back and says, I got to ask you, Ma, am I a polar bear? She says, you're a polar bear. Look, everyone here, stop bothering me. Look, now he comes back the third day. Am I a polar bear? She says, why are you bothering me? He says, because I am freezing. <laughs> uh, Good job. Uh, yeah. It's a good joke. It's okay. It's a little It's okay. It's okay. You told it really well. But to be honest, if the joke was just, without your delivery, I don't know if the joke would have made it. <laughs> you did it well, because you, my friend, are a master broadcaster. Master. Thank you. You can take anything and make it interesting. Tumbling right? from you, that's a great I'm compliment. telling you, I, I, I swear to you. Look, I wear, I wear these every night in honor of how awesome you are. This Why is don't true. you take your jacket off? No. No. That's your thing, man. That's your thing. I gotta, you gotta have your thing. This is my thing. I wear them, but I wear the jacket over them. And you know, that's my thing. And your, your thing is not wearing it. But when you, you know? wear the jacket over them, no one knows you're wearing them. That's, that's my plan. <laughs> Does it make you feel better? It makes my pants stay up. But a belt could do that. Well, belts, you know, people say belts do that, but they don't. They just kind of like, you know, they, I wish they would choose a place to be. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, they don't really, they don't really do it like the, this does it, you know. And Well, I love, I love bra braces are... You wearing a belt too? No. 
<laughs> you, if braces and a belt. You... Hey, you know, you can't be too careful. <laughs> Where'd you get that tie? Is pretty thin. Yeah, I yeah. know thin ties are in, but that is really in. Yeah, that, it's not it, really a tie. I discovered. You know who made this tie? Who you made know? that tie? Donald Trump. No, it's, a, it's. He has his own line of ties. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a line of everything. Yeah, I want to look like Donald Trump. See, the thing is, I got, I got a. He gave. <laughs> yeah. I got a three-year-old. He goes around writing his name on everything. I'm like, Trump never grew out of that. He has buildings that are writing his name on it. It's like he writes it like Trump time. I'm a Trump time. Trump, Trump, Trump. Trump says Trump. Trump. See that little gold thing, Trump. Yeah, Donald J. Trump. Donald yeah. J. Trump. Maybe it is actually one of his ties. I don't think he's got like. No, no, no. You steal one of Donald Trump's ties. <laughs> he gave me the tie. Are you a friend of Donald Trump's? I know him a long time, yeah. I really? consider him a, really? a strong acquaintance. Yeah, friend. I've always been friendly with Donald Trump. He has a bit of an ego. <laughs> no, you don't think so. <laughs> I think you're being a little harsh. <laughs> no, I mean, it is, that's, his, that's his aura. That's his, to quote the vernacular, his shtick. <laughs> you know what shtick means? Of course I know what shtick okay, means. Well, I'm a polar bear, aren't I? It. You told that well. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's his persona. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's his act. He's not really like that. <laughs> <laughs> See what we did there. That was good. Yeah, good yeah, we did that. Did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to take a break. Yeah, you, you know how to do it. I know it. how to do this. Yeah. We'll be right back with more of the Craig Ferguson Show. See if it improves after this. Sweetheart Larry King and uh, that was which, one of my movies. What American Sweetheart? Yeah, it was a great movie. John Cusack and and uh, Julia Roberts and Billy Crystal wrote it. It was a terrific. Very that, I love that movie. Uh, did you see it? It's a very good movie. It was a very good movie. Yeah, yeah, I saw that movie many times. I, ha <laughs> I had a great scene in that movie. I remember it was the best scene in the movie. <laughs> I thought it was of Academy Award caliber. Yeah, you've gone too far, man. <laughs> You're, you're going to be in person somewhere soon. Where? In person? No, where? You're, you're doing your... I do my stand-up, yeah. Yeah, where, where are you coming? You're coming because I'm going to be Whoa, there. Well, uh, what's going on, Larry? Well, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be there. Someone told me about it. I'm going to go. Well, I, I'm appearing? going to numerous places throughout the United some... States and Canada. What's, so, uh, what's, what's coming up? Give well, me some... a, a bunch of them. Vegas, yeah. uh, no. Denver, um, no. a lot of Canada, a lot of Florida coming up. Um, well, it could be Florida. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to see your stand-up. Yeah, you'd like it. No, no. I... Oh, you can see it, actually, Larry. Look, it's available on this DVD. Right. Oh. Yeah. Larry, we're out of time. We've got to go. Say, say goodnight. Say, say goodnight, Larry. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm, you got another guest coming. I think so, yeah. Yes, yeah, I do. I Stay tuned. Uh, yeah, for, absolutely. Stay tuned for more of the great, great Craig Ferguson show from Reykjavik next. <laughs> Talented actress. Uh, the people of Iceland adore her work. She stars in uh, True Blood Sunday Nights on HBO. Take a look at this. <laughs> Anna Camp, everybody. Anna Camp. Don't you look absolutely lovely? No, but but I grew up around people that did have the whole big thing, you know what I mean? And like just sort of like getting home from work, I have to like go like this. Like it takes like a lot of. I uh, think it's stuff. nice though. I like it when girls have big hair. They do it in Jersey as well, you know. Oh, they do. I wonder. Mm. I wonder if they do it in Iceland. Well, you know, we should go to Iceland and find out. We should go to Iceland. I think though, my maybe this is a stereotype, but my idea of Icelandic girls' hair is sort of pixie cut. Okay. You know what I mean? I can so see I that. Like, dee, dee, da, da, da. <laughs> that sounds very Icelandic. <laughs> you know, well, a little bit. 
<laughs> have you ever been there? No, I've never been there. I've never been to Iceland. I like the cold. I do like cold weather. Well, I there you go. But you're York. probably afraid of polar bears. Where do you live now? Uh, I live in L.A. I live in L.A., but I grew up in South Carolina. I used to talk Yes, like I know this. that. I know that. I but know. you said you like the cold. I thought maybe you... I lived in New York for well, a while. Well, that gets pretty cold And there. you have yeah. to like the cold if you live in New York. Yeah, I know. Did you live there in the wintertime? I did live there in the wintertime. I would be bundled up, like, wearing stuff and, little like... Little pixie haircut? Yeah, little pixie haircut. No pixie haircut, but maybe little pixie hats. That's adorable. Thank you. Did you go? Did you go to New York to be an actress straight from South Carolina? Uh, yeah, I, I grew. I went right to Washington Heights, um, which is in New York, which is like 189th and St. Nick's. Yeah, I know. There. I know where it is. Yeah, it's it's kind of not my first stop for no, inspiring no, 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 actors. No, uh, I know it wasn't really. Uh, I, I sort of like moved in with a group of friends. Uh, my roommate, his name was Tom Sawyer. That's his real name. I know. Did you get to New York by raft? <laughs> We were, it took us it took us a long time <laughs> eight years no we we got there and I remember like waiting for my sister to come meet me at the subway I was so proud of my new apartment you know and and I remember guys walking by me being like are you lost like are you lost what are you doing here and um, I said no 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 I live like just over there like it's my first apartment in New York and this one guy said oh honey there's nothing up here but drugs and sex <laughs> and I see said, that's how I know it uh... <laughs> Because I used to live in New York too. I oh, lived in New okay. York when I, and then I came out here. Do you do you like California? Is I do. I really? do like California. Do you make True Blood here? We do make True Blood here. A lot of people think that we shoot it down in Louisiana because it looks, you know, so real. But no, we're just like over in West Hollywood. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, do you know Chris Bauer? I do know Chris He's Bauer. He's my friend. Chris he, Bauer's my friend. He's on True Blood. He is so great. He's so I know. fantastic. He's a really good actor. He was on The Wire. Do you remember The he Wire? He was on The Wire. Oh, I love that show. That was show. a great show. That was show, a hardcore right? show. Yeah, hardcore. Yeah. No vampires, though. Drugs and sex. Yeah, but no vampires. No. you want to... No, no, not Now, listen, the, the True Blood, because of the vampire thing, or just the True Blood shows, people are... You've got a very fanatic following. People are go crazy for you. Yes. I was just at Comic-Con this past weekend. He too. I heard you. Were I went there. to the True Blood party. Yeah. You weren't there. I wasn't there. We went. We didn't go to the True Blood party. Yeah, I'm sure the people at HBO were delighted they about were that. Happy <laughs> with that. Um, but we met some great fans, and I actually met a girl who has fangs. What, what she you got fans? extensions put in to her teeth, so she has permanent fangs. <laughs> That's commitment. That's a really committed fan. I don't, I don't know if commitment is the word I'd use. I, you know, like, you know, a, a marriage is a commitment. You know, a parenthood is a commitment. That's right. dental madness. That's dental madness. I know. She was really just all smiles. Yeah. Well, you might as well. I, right. I, the fans of the vampire stuff, they're a bit like Doctor Who fans. They're, they're very passionate, very kind of involved. Yeah, I know. There's like uh, there's an actor on the show named Alex Skarsgård. Oh, yes, one of, of course. the fans has his whole face <laughs> tattooed on her arm. It's me. <laughs> oh, that's you. Let's see it. No, no. I have some tattoos, though. Do you have any tattoos? I don't have any tattoos. You're... I almost got a tattoo, and I'm so glad that I didn't. Why? I was in Tennessee. Oh, that always happens to me in Tennessee. Uh, <laughs> And I was with an ex ex boyfriend, like way back, college boyfriend. I was in the chair, and I was gonna get one of those tramp step. I did, yes, ding ding. That's what. It, yeah, and I didn't go on Hello. the nose. Bing. Let's do it again. Okay. Boom boom. Yeah. Yes. Um, so I'm so glad that I didn't end up doing. Why? Because it's a permanent reminder of a temporary feeling. That's what my dad always says. Oh, that's a good idea. And if idea. you really love what you get, then it makes sense. But in a, in a drunken moment in, in Johnson City, Tennessee, I don't know if that's Man. something I want to remember for the no, rest of my life. No, I don't know. I've had a couple of drunken nights in Tennessee <laughs> I want to remember forever. Really? Yeah. Well, actually, I wasn't drunk. I just like Tennessee. Right? Is this your first talk show? This is my first. All right. My well, first. <laughs> so can you tell? It's great. Yeah. You're good at it. You mustn't be nervous. First of all, the thing to remember about talk shows is they are not important. They are not important at all okay. for anything. Okay, okay. It's just a way of kind of, you know, like if you're not going to go to your own show's party, then you should go on a talk show or something <laughs> like that. I'm making up for it. Yeah. What's your favorite part about being uh, a talk show host, though? <laughs> Do you have one? <laughs> I like the horse and the skeleton. I like uh, right. There's Jeff. I like really like Jeff. I think he's awesome. He is. He's a lovely man. Really, he really, really is. Guy. Say, say hi. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Nice to see they you. They call and me the gateway to Iceland. Yeah. <laughs> At least somebody is. Yeah, yeah. I'm, and then, uh, you know, Secretariat's uh, 
Nice to see you, Secretariat. Yeah. Won yeah. any races? He's bowing. Look, he's bowing. Oh, how lovely. Yeah. It's like I'm the royal he's baby. Bowing. Or, or. <laughs> I didn't know you were the royal baby. I get bowed to for like nothing. Yeah, you're the royal baby. Royal baby right there. I didn't know you were the royal baby. No, can you imagine being the royal baby? Yeah, it'd be awesome. Yeah, it'd be the best. Yeah, you just like lie around and poo yourself. All yeah, time. and people like applaud and they're yeah, like, yeah. hey, you Although, poo. to be honest, I think that's what babies do anyway. They just lie around pooing themselves. But the yes. royal baby poos gold. That's what I hear. I wonder what his poo smells like. <laughs> or do I? <laughs> Probably something British. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, like tweed or something like That'd that. That'd be nice, like yeah, a yeah. wool tweed. I'm afraid the little one's dropped another tweed surprise, everyone. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sorry. No, no. Oh, you started I talking. Said that, yeah, I said yeah, that. yeah. Um, um, right. <laughs> you want to throw at the commercial break? Hey, yes, we're going to. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's my first time. Yeah, yeah, but it's not entertainment tonight. Slow down. Okay. Keep the sense of awkward and amateur here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Which camera do I say it to? Ah, your guess is as good as mine. This one? Try that one. Okay, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Yeah! What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? That was some of your Austrian cat porn right there. Yeah, yeah. What did we learn on the show tonight, Jeff? Well, we learned that uh, there are many cities that are the gateway to Iceland. Right, that's right. But I think what we, we learned the, our favorite old Icelandic song. Shall we sing it now? Oh, sure. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, you, you start. All right. <clears throat> Iceland is early It's a wonderful place. <laughs> it's gone. There's polar bears. Yeah. It's where the show is going to go next. I'm very excited. So we'll probably get there by raft. Because that's all we can afford. afford. Good night, everybody. Good night.